Now, normally on this channel, we mix up a really cool color and then we spray it on a car to see how it turns out. But not today. Today we are doing something different. We are mixing up two really cool colors and spraying them on two completely different cars. And you may ask, why are we going to spray two whole cars in one video? Well, we have a very good reason. You may notice that these gallons right here look quite a bit different than the normal Dip Pearl Top Coat gallons that we've used for the past 10 years in our videos. These are the brand new next gen top coat gallons. We've got our satin finish here and we've got our frozen finish right here. Two totally awesome options for you guys to use. And you may ask, what makes these so special? Well, I'll keep it very simple. We focused on three things when we came down to these next gen gallons. The first is we want to kick orange peel out the window. We want you guys to get the smoothest flattest finishes with less effort. And both of these gallons achieve that. Super smooth, super flat. The second thing is we wanna get that sticky, grippy feel of the glossy top coat out as well. Both of these are gonna feel smoother and slicker than the old glossy top coat for sure. Then the third thing, we wanna make them as easy to use as possible. I want somebody who's dipping their car for their very first time and somebody who's been dipping for 10 plus years to both get an awesome finish that they're super proud of without having to have any previous experience or special skill set. So again, both of these are getting sprayed today. Let's start with the frozen, if you don't mind, because that may be my favorite out of the two. The frozen is going to be a clean, aggressive matte finish. You can use it for pearls or you can use it as a sealer coat over uh, PDS or Performance Series gallons. And of course, you can do the same for the satin as well. So for the frozen finish, Gabe and I were talking about it, and we both thought that blue is a really good color to show off a frozen finish. Right here, we've got deep sea blue, and on the Evo, we've got a black and blue base. Now, we've never used deep sea blue with a lower pigment load, so this should be super interesting. This is gonna be 25 grams, and we're gonna cut it like usual, so it'll end up being 12 and a half grams per gallon over black and blue in a frozen finish. And you can see, it's not as clear as the glossy top coat, but as soon as those pearls go in, we're gonna get all the saturation we need with this awesome frozen sheen. So this is deep sea blue. Show you a little stick of truth. The last time we sprayed it was over a black base and that was years ago. But this is definitely one of our most popular blue pearls. So you see how rich and saturated that is? Now it looks really clear and glossy while it's wet, but wait until you see this stuff sprayed and dried. Let's jump right in. Frozen is done. 
And believe me, it looks awesome. I'm going to show it to you here in just a bit. But now it's time for the satin. Now Gabe and I were talking about what color to use to properly show this dynamite satin sheen. We came up with what, Gabe? Why don't you tell them? Came up with some real red. Real red, same pigment load, 12 and a half grams per gallon, over a black cherry base. I think this is going to look rich. It's going to be just saturated enough and it's going to show the sheen beautifully. So here's 25 grams of real red. Like always, we're going to cut this with another gallon of next gen satin. This is a pearl we haven't used in a long time. And I'm super pumped. This is about as pure red as a standard mica pearl can get. It still has a little bit of that kind of what, like orangey or amber? hue in the direct sunlight, but that's just what's going to happen. You're not going to find a true fire engine red pearl. Believe me, with our relationships with KP and, uh, and the spray source, and dis if it existed, we'd have it by now. So let me show you what this real red's going to look like. It's going to look a little bit dark on the stick of truth, but I think it's going to pop beautifully over the black cherry. Here. See what I mean? It's like, it's like that kind of beautiful red. It's got, well, I don't know if they're going to be able to see that amber. I think this is gonna look so cool. Let's jump right in. Alright guys, we got both cars finished. Now if you're just here for the end result and the colors, feel free to skip ahead. But if you're interested in the products and the process, we have some stuff to show you and some stuff to unpack here. Now, one of the most important things that we can do today is show you guys direct side-by-side -side comparisons of these two products with the same criteria so you can see exactly how they perform and differentiate. Right over here, we have two large speed shapes both sprayed with the same pigment load of storm cloud gray. On this side, we have the next gen satin. On this side, we have the next gen frozen. And as you can see, they do look quite a bit different. When you actually measure the gloss units on these two top coats, the next gen satin on average is gonna come in at about 55 to 60 gloss units and the frozen is gonna come between 20 and 25. So you're getting more than double the sheen on the satin. Both of them look gorgeous. It's just a matter of personal preference. And if you want a higher sheen satin finish or a more aggressive, lower sheen frozen finish. Now, of course, these next gen gallons do a wonderful job as pearl carriers, the best that we've ever had, but they also do excellent as sealer coats over Plasti Dip Series and Performance Series gallon colors. So I have some examples right here to show you as well. This right here is Wicked Wine Performance Series straight out of the gallon. And this is Wicked Wine with one wet sealer coat of frozen next gen top coat. And as you can tell, it's still an aggressive lower sheen finish, but the frozen actually makes that color pop a little bit more 
a little bit richer. So if you want a little bit of extra protection, a little bit more sheen and a little bit more color, you can finish your Placida per Performance Series gallons with frozen next gen. Over here, Wicked Wine straight out of the gallon, Wicked Wine with one wet sealer coat of satin next gen top coat. And as you can tell, huge difference in sheen, huge difference in richness. This satin next gen can really bring out the color, really bring out a little bit of extra sheen and gloss in these gallon colors. Now, as of today, all DYC car kits are going to include next gen top coat gallons if they're a pearl kit. So if you get a deep sea blue car kit or a hyper shift car kit, there'll be a selection there on the product page where you can choose either satin or frozen and the next gen gallons are gonna again come automatically. Now the glossy top coat gallon is not being discontinued. You can still purchase it as a standalone product. If you want that extra sheen, that extra clarity, you can apply that glossy top coat on top, but you have to realize there's gonna be a trade off there where you're gonna be bringing in that risk of orange peel texture and that extra grip. It all comes down to whether or not you think it's worth it. Personally for me, I think DIY dipping should lean heavily towards what we do best, which are those satin and frozen matte finishes. That's gonna give you the best end result, the best bang for your buck. If you wanna use that glossy top coat, which we still will in certain projects that we do here on the videos, something that may call for the extra gloss or sheen, like a micro flake, for example, we'll still play with it from time to time. But again, for me, it's all about you guys getting the most for your money. So enough of that. We're going to go outside. You guys check out these two cars. I really hope you guys got answers to all your questions today. If you have any more questions at all, you know what to do. Contact us directly at dipyourcar.com. Leave a comment below. I want to know which one do you think is more your style, frozen or satin. If you want to dip your own car, by the way, you can click right up here. It'll bring you to all of our car kits in one place. Remember, our pearl kits come with the next gen top coat gallons. If you want to dip your car using a Plasti Dip or Performance Series gallon and then use the top coat as a sealer, you just buy that car kit and then grab a couple extra gallons of the next gen for your sealer. We covered a lot today, but very important video. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.